and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can downgrade GTA 4, the complete edition to patch 1070 for LCPDFR 1.1. All right, and also, of course, we are going to be installing LCPDFR 1.1 as well. Hope you guys enjoy it. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you do enjoy it. Click on GTA 4 Downgrader EXE, and then it's going to retrieve the server information. All right, so we are going to be running on the version 1.7. So on the link down below, I will leave this so you guys can go download that. And then of course, you're going to want to find your GTA 4 EXE. All right, so let's go do that. Let's go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then your game folder here. Now, I already have a backup of GTA 4 already, but in case you don't, you can use this downgrader tool. All right, so I'm not going to move GTA 4 to another location, but if you do have that registry error, um, you can consider this method to move it and to install it on that drive. So we are, are going to be installing the patch 1070. A quick rundown for the notes here. Um, the 1080 version is best for ASI mods and great performance. 1070 is best for ASI and .NET modifications, such as LCPDFR. 1040 is best suited for EMBs. So we are going to be running 1070, and this is specifically for LCPDFR as well. So I'm going to configure this for games for Windows Live as well. Now in this tutorial, this software does require you to downgrade your saves as well, which I don't know how to do. So either way, I'm going to install games for Windows Live as well. Now, in this part, you can choose between Radio Downgrader or Legacy Radio Downgrader. I personally prefer the Legacy version. And also, you can install no EFLC episodes from Liberty City Music in the IV fix. So I'm going to toggle that there but you guys can uh, skip that if you want to. Now, unlike the tutorial from last year, this tutorial includes some more fixes, so it's more user-friendly. So if you have some issues with the game, for example, vehicle shadow issues, heli spotlights, removing the mod-only lobby separation from patch 1070, uh, fixing VRAM issues on patch 7 and below, and requiring the uh, re removement to fix the login issue so we can play without logging into Social Club to play MP. All those types of things are included with the Zolikia uh, patch, but I am not going to be using that, but both of these here are compatible with games for Windows Live. Also, like I mentioned, um, you can downgrade your game and also back up your game as well. So if you haven't backed it up yet for the downgrade, you can choose that option here. So now it is going to download all of the requirements such as the initial downgrader files and then from XLive, DSound, games from Windows Live, Visual C++, the redistributables to DirectX, all that stuff. So we're going to let this sit for a minute. This takes about maybe three to five minutes. So we're going to let everything update. If anything pops up, I'll make sure that you click yes so that it can install to your computer. All right, so let's let this update and come back to it once it is done. If, again, if your Play GTA 4 EXE file is broken, or if somehow it opens up the Rockstar Games Launcher, I just rename this to launch GTA 4 EXE. Okay, so now we are done with the downgrader tool. All right, so once you have dragged and dropped your files from the LCPD first response folder, replace anything if it says so. 